Have you been seeing GFXs like these and really want to learn how to do them but don't know how? This tutorial is for you. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a GFX profile without rigs and this is the easiest way probably and everything that I use will be linked in the description. So here we go. Okay, so once you are in Roblox Studio, you're going to press on New Experience, and it should immediately take you to a new world, and then press Select and delete the base plate, because we don't need that. Get that out of here. And then I go to Plugins, it doesn't matter which one you have, but I use this one, so I'm going to type in my username, and then I'm just going to press Import um, R15, Spawn R15, and make sure to have the X checked. Yeah, you have to make sure that the X is checked for Spawn at Origin, and then... Now that I'm spawned, you can see that I'm kind of in the floor, so I'm going to just move me up a little bit so I am standing. Okay, and that's exactly how we need it. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to animate um, how I want my pose to be, and you can just play around with it for a bit, so I'm just going to speed this part up. Okay, so once you are done posing your character as I am here, I'm going to go to my username on the right side of my screen and right click it, scroll down, and you're going to see export selection. Okay, so I have folders for mine, so but you don't need one, so I'm just going to click on my folder, type what I want to name it, and then just save it. And now you're done with Roblox Studio. Okay, so I've headed over to Blender Lightroom, and everything is gray, so you're going to go up to the top right of your corner and click on Viewport Shading, it's a little circle, and now you have a view of what the lights look like, which we're going to change the color of later. So now to import your character, go to File, Import, and Wavefront OBJ. Now, um, you're going to go um, to the file where your character is, and uh, let me find my- where's my char- oh my god, did I lose my character? Okay, so once you find your character, make sure to double click on OBJ and not MTL. And now that my character is imported, you can see that the camera view isn't exactly where I want it to be. So to change that, go to View, Navigation, and at the bottom, there is Walk Navigation. You can use your WASD keys to move it to where you want. And um, just make sure to just like pose, make sure the character, because the character, you already posed it, so make sure the camera is exactly where you want it. And you could always go back and repose the char uh, character if you don't want it like that. But I think this is good right now for me. And you can see that the lights aren't exactly the color we want it because it's blue and yellow and that does not match my character. So you can go to lights uh, materials tab and you can just play around with the lights and render it until you get the color you want. But I think I'm going to add a little pink and a little white because my character does not have that many colors. So I think that's easy enough for me. And now I'm going to render it to see what the lighting looks like. And that lighting is fine with me, but you can always make it different for your character. So um, now I'm to make myself glossy because I look a little plain. Go to your character materials tab and turn the roughness down. Um, I usually have it at 500, but for this I turned it down a little more. I want it to be more glossy. And you could always have, make sure not to have the gloss up too much or it will look greasy. So just have the roughness always a little bit above the um, metallic. And that is a good glossy to me. You could always make it glossier, but I do not like it that glossy. So once it is done rendering, you can press image and save as and then just name it and you will be done with the blender portion of this.
There are a bunch of different editing sites you can use, but I prefer to use Canva because um, this is a beginner's tutorial. So press um, create a design and go down to custom size and enter 800 times 800 and then click create new design and you will be opened up to a blank square, which is all you need. And now you can start editing your GFX to make it have all the backgrounds and everything that a normal GFX would have. So go down to, go down to uploads and press upload files and go to where your render is saved and double click on it and mine i have to keep pressing retry but in the end it will work in this for a second and oh i just put a lot of me's in there so now that i have one of me i can resize it to fit the the square or maybe a little bigger and now all you have to do is add backgrounds maybe a text if you want and i think the best place to find backgrounds is pinterest so I'm going to go to Pinterest, and I'm going to say, oh, what the hell is that? Okay, so now all you have to do is search up GFX background, and it will come up with a lot of options. You can um, add, like, pink, uh, red, purple, anything, but I don't have a certain color. But these ones look nice, so I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these, download it, and then import it into Canva the same way I imported the character. Okay, so now that I have my background in, you can kind of tell that you cannot see the character anymore, but that's an easy fix. Click on the background, go to position, then press layers, and drag it under the character. So now you can see that this is starting to look like a GFX. Well, yeah, obviously. And you can add some overlays, but I didn't really want to because I didn't want to. I don't know. And then you could like add a text, which I did in this case, but it looked pretty bad because I did not spend any time on it. And obviously, I don't use Canva anymore, but this is the tutorial for a beginner GFX, and you can always add your little bedazzle to it to make it much better, because you can see, like, mine has terrible potential, and I know that you guys could do much better with this than I could. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial helped you.